Welcome to Wild Lecture Online. If you've ever spent some time in the desert late in the evening when it's very wind still and the temperatures outside during the day were well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, well over 40 degrees centigrade, and after the sun has set, it just doesn't seem to be cooling down and the temperatures outside are still well around 100 degrees or so, even though the sun has already disappeared over the horizon, that kind of gives you a little bit of a feeling of what it must be like on Venus. Obviously on Venus it is a lot hotter than that and there's a lot more air, a lot more atmosphere at a much higher pressure, but there's the same kind of thing going on. Things don't seem to be cooling down on Venus at all and it doesn't matter if it's nighttime or daytime, if you're at the polar regions or at the equator, it seems like the temperature on the surface is the same just about everywhere you go. So, why is that? Well, let's talk about the concept of thermal inertia. The concept of the thermal inertia is the rate at which heat transfers from where it is hot to where it is cold. And on Venus, that rate is very, very slow, and therefore, hence, there's a lot of thermal inertia on Venus. So when you go to the surface, where the pressure is almost 100 times the pressure on the Earth, the atmosphere is very thick, it contains an enormous amount of heat because the temperatures are so high and the atmosphere is so dense, well, the temperature there just doesn't seem to change as you go higher and higher in the atmosphere. Very, very slowly does it change temperature. It doesn't reach maybe what we would like, uh, what we would consider Earth-like temperatures until you've reached about 30 miles up into the atmosphere, which is about 50 kilometers above the surface. So we have a very slow heat transfer from the surface out to back towards space. On top of that, the surface winds at the surface are just a few miles per hour, which is like a few kilometers per hour. So very slowly does the enormous mass of air move across the surface. Of course, if you were to stand, let's say, in a nice spacesuit on the surface of Venus with that enormous atmosphere, you'd have trouble staying in place because it would slowly be pushing you, but it's a very slow process. And so, even though on Venus a solar day is almost 117 Earth days long, which means that the night lasts about 58 Earth days, imagine no sunshine for 58 days, you're on the night side of the planet, and yet the temperature does not cool down. And it doesn't matter if you're at the poles or at the equator, nighttime, daytime, the temperatures are roughly the same everywhere you go around the planet. Wow, that is quite amazing. So, essentially, what we can then see is that the upward, upward air currents that we normally associate with air motion on the Earth, for example, when in the morning the sun, the sun shows up on the, over the desert, it heats the air, the air then gets less dense, it rises and other air rushes in its place and you start having those huge convection currents which pull a lot of heat from the surface back up to higher elevations. That kind of thing is virtually non-existent on Venus. The heat is simply trapped down there and doesn't get moved to higher elevations at any kind of volume or rate. The heat transfer from the surface to the upper atmosphere is very slow through the radiation because of the enormous thermal effect of the atmosphere. We have that nice blanket of carbon dioxide and some water vapor that just does not allow certain wavelengths to get back up to space and keeps the heat in. That heat that gets transferred throughout the atmosphere through kinetic energy and just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And in addition to that, the amount of heat added every day to the atmosphere is actually very small. The amount of heat that gets down to the surface is about 160 watts per square meter. Some of that gets radiated back into space, some of that gets absorbed by the atmosphere, and since the thermal effect, the thermal transfer heat is so slow, even that very small amount just keeps the atmosphere very, very warm. And partly also because the amount of heat content in the atmosphere is absolutely enormous compared to the small amount that's, that's, that's added every single day. So it's basically just sitting there, very slowly transferring its way back into space through slow motion of the air currents and through the slow movement of the radiation going back up towards space. And then that small amount of heat that then gets added to the, to the atmosphere near the surface of the Earth just keeps replenishing that small amount of heat that gets transferred back up, just keeping the atmosphere very warm at the same constant temperature throughout daytime, nighttime, winter, summer, although with the small tilt of Venus, there isn't much of a difference between winter and summer on the planet, and thus it just stays warm. The, the thermal inertia, very, very strong. The heat just doesn't go anywhere, just very, very slowly makes it back to space and keeps the surface 
nice and warm. And that's what we mean by the thermal inertia on Venus.